Hello, October the 27th, only, ooh, 28, 29, 30, 31, four days left of a vlogtober, but Christy's breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> um, okay, what have I done today? Nothing really, been a quiet day with the girls. Maddie's hurt her eye, look, if you can see it, just here. She's got a big cut above her eye. That probably doesn't show very on camera, but um, I think she was playing with Gypsy. The problem is Gypsy is two, <clears throat> but she doesn't know how to play. So she's at six-month-old puppy stage with the nipping and mouthing and not really knowing how to play other than grab you by the teeth, but with a full set of adult teeth. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, poor old Maddie's getting the brunt of it and it keeps going on her face. Bless her. But she'll be alright, she'll live. <laughs> got to expect it when you've got one more than one dog in the house. They tend to mouth each other and you don't they don't um They don't mean it, you know, they're not fighting, they're just play fighting. And Gypsy doesn't realise how strong her teeth are. But she'll get there. Um, I've actually been killed up in the studio most of the afternoon. I've got a bit of a headache. Not not like a, a proper migrainey headache, but just one of those kind of, oh, it's cold and I'm tired and I my head feels a bit fluffy kind of headaches. So I've just been sitting in the art studio. I look like I've got massive bags under my eyes. But I haven't. <laughs> it's just the light. <laughs> oh, I look like a zombie in this light do something about that. Oh well. Um, we've just been having, just had some of these. Creepy Kipling Capes. They are orange flavour sponge sandwich with a ra gooey raspberry filling and chunks of dark chocolate on the top and they're very yummy. They are Mm. doesn't say they're extremely addictive I'm not sure if that's the chocolate or the e-numbers honestly I think it's probably the e-numbers um, it's only taken us a day to go through these admittedly the girls helped and the cat helped <laughs> but um, yeah I don't think we'd better be buying another box of these just yet, we'll give it a week or so. They're not bad, but you know, better off having dinner, I think. <sighs> yeah, I haven't done anything very much. Oh, I bought one of these today. Um, look at this. I don't know if it's up on camera. I don't know how these work on camera. Can you see it? It's like a holographic version of um, Gandalf. It's the promotion for The Hobbit. They're the promotional ones for um, the first part of The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey. This is number two. I really don't know if that's showing up on camera. I don't know how holograms work. But it's holographic. Um, it's really cool. It kind of makes your eyes go a bit funny. Um, I don't. I normally get Empire when there's something in it that I'm interested in. Um, it's not normally five pounds for a holographic cover, um, but the, you know the holographic cover is all right. It'd be cool to put on the wall in my movie studio. I may see. Apparently, there's five different covers. Yeah, five covers to rule them all. It says at the top there. I don't think I want to spend twenty-five pounds on Empire, <laughs> especially all the same version of Empire, but. I may see if there's another one that I really, really, really like. Um, and if there is, then I can get two, can't I? And I can have them. I can put them up on the wall, then. It's, oh, it's making my eyes go funny. Um, questions, questions. Have I got any questions? Let me have a look. I haven't checked today. I've started only checking when I'm vlogging, because that way I... Let me mute it. That way I don't miss any. Uh, 
Oh, somebody said um, they really like the fact that I put, if I put artist's work in my journal, uh, I put the name on it. This avoids the copyright issue. If you're doing it in your personal journal, there is no copyright issue. Okay? Copyright only comes into play if you are uh, using somebody else's materials to make money or to promote something or, you know, in a way that they would not want you to be doing. Um, some artists, you know, if you did a, a tutorial on YouTube, a free tutorial, um, they would get a bit funny if you used their art in it and stuff like that. But if you're doing it in your personal journal uh, and you're not, you don't make a YouTube video of it and you're not, you know, using it for promotional material or anything like that, then it's not copyright. It's personal use. You know, you can take, I can take the front cover of this. I can frame it and I can stick it up in my front room. That is not copyright. The picture is copyright. The image is copyright. If I was using this to, you know, promote something, then yes, it would absolutely come under copyright. But this, I bought the magazine. I'm entitled to take the front cover off the magazine and hang it on my wall if I want to. That's not copyright. That's personal use. You know, there's a difference. I'm not taking part of that picture and putting it into a header for my website or something like that. So, copyright's not a good area for me to get into because I think there's far, far too much hoo-ha about it. I'm, I'm very much of the opinion, uh, Christy did one of these the other day, and I, I very much agree with her opinion that, you know, until the, those who are in charge actually get their acts together and sort out exactly what copyright should and shouldn't be, you know, things have moved on since copyright was first put into law. And since then, all they've done is add on bits that don't really help anybody. So, you know, my view on copyright, use some damn common sense. If you're going to use somebody else's pictures in a journal page, put a link below. You know, if, if you video yourself doing a, a journal page and it uses a picture from somebody else, at least at least have the common courtesy to link to them to their website saying these images are actually from this person. Preferably contact the person and say hey I did this video and it used one of your pictures is it okay if I put it up and put a link back to you and if so where would you like me to link it to? Most, most artists will say yeah sure why not because it's not like you're making money out of it you're just doing something on YouTube. We do recognise the difference, you know? So, yeah. But there's an awful lot of people picking and choosing bits of copyright. You know, um, it's like, Ch it's like um, Christy said, you know, you could, a lot, awful lot of people post pictures that they have drawn of people sitting in coffee shops. Well, if you don't have a model release for that person, guess what? It's copyright. They can sue you for use of their image. Um... The only, the best places to get um, re reference photos are either to hybrid them, you know, and use them as inspiration but don't necessarily copy the images directly, or go on to Flickr, to Creative Commons, uh, sorry, the Commons, and look for pictures under Creative Commons where the photographer or owner of the photograph, which is usually somebody in the photograph that they know or are related to or have permission to post or it's them or whatever um, go and you know use those photographs which have been released as you know reference photos under copyright you know as well usually it's like just link back to me and you can use my photos you know just use your common sense it's not hard copyright is not hard just you know whatever Whatever you're planning to do that you think may be covered by copyright, just put yourself in the shoes of the artist and say, well, okay, if I had taken this picture and I owned this picture, what would I think about it? How would I react? You know, would I be a bit miffed that somebody used my picture as a reference and didn't link back to me? Would I be, you know, annoyed that somebody is trying to make money by reprinting my photo. You know, yeah. If 
the answer is yes, step out of it. Get away from it. Copyright is common sense. Unfortunately, common sense is not very common. But, hey. Um, lots of people are saying the more hours of arting videos, the better. Because that's what they do while they're chilling out. They sit and watch art videos. So that's good. Cause that's good news for people like me who are quite happy to get on screen for three hours and do a video. Marvellous. Um, somebody wanting to learn about soft and oil pastels. Uh, oh, Melinda. Melinda Kopeck wants to know about soft and oil pastels. I don't actually use soft pastels. I've only really got into pastels recently. I do use hard pencil pastels. Um, I love using those. I've only started using them recently and they are fabulous. I love them. Mixing them with black and white charcoal and a few Prismacolor pencils. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to do a little bit more practice with it. Um, get a few more techniques under my belt. And then I will probably do a tutorial on it or something. Uh, because it's just... Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's a really soft uh, technique and it's... Um, it's not messy. <laughs> Um, soft pastels I have never used, probably never will use them because I really like oil pastels. I prefer oil, I, I love oil pastels and I don't honestly see the point in buying ordinary pastels if oil pastels do what I want them to do. Maybe I need to get a sample of a, a pastel just to see what, what the fuss is about, I don't know. I've never used them, ever, so I don't, I can't speak on oil, on ordinary soft pastels. Um, I'll try and get a sample one and just just have a play and see what I think. Um, yeah, I'll think about that. I hadn't really hadn't really thought about getting soft pastels because I've already got oil pastels and I really like them. Um, but now I'm wondering, oh, could I mix the two together? So uh, stick with me on that one, Melinda. Uh, uh, you've given me something to think about there. I will, I will have a have a bit more of a think about that, and probably come up with something for the new year for that one. Uh, a few more guesses on the Halloween makeup, and somebody got it right! Yay, Zoe Reese! Congratulations. She says your Halloween costume, I think, is going to be Magenta from the Rocky Horror Show. Yes, it is. For those of you who don't know who Magenta is, this is her. And yes, I cut off. I haven't done magenta for about 20 years. Um, I think the early 90s was the last time I went to see the Rocky Horror Show. Um, and I always go as magenta because I <laughs> always have crazy hair. Um, I did dye it black one year and go as Frankenfurter, but that was just weird. <laughs> a girl going as a guy dressed up as a girl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's who I'm going to be, magenta. So if you want me to see to do my magenta makeup for my Halloween vlog uh, or a Halloween video, let me know. Um, I've got to do it because I'm going out to a party on Halloween, so I have to do my makeup anyway. So it makes no difference to me if I do it earlier in the day and video it, or if I. Um, do it later. I've got to do it anyway. So yeah, if you want to see it, put a comment below and I will do my best. I'm not a beauty guru, you know, I'm an artist. So I can do the makeup because I've been a goth for 20 years. I, you know, doing heavy goth makeup is not hard. Um, the hardest part is if you don't wear makeup all the time, making it heavy enough. Because you really have to go to town with it. But... Um, you know, some, some of the beauty gurus, I, I was watching um, Tanya Burr the other day. She does a, she's done a zombie and it's got like wounds with blood dripping out of it and everything. It's fantastic. Uh, I can't do that. I'm just really good with black eyeliner. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, magenta. I think that'll be fun. Uh, and I get to back comb my hair, which I don't get to do very often, but yay. 
So, yeah. God, I really do look like I've got bags under my eyes. I haven't, honestly, look. She says moving and it makes it worse. She's after my jelly sweets. Look, I bought some Haribo. I don't have sweets very often, but I thought, I fancy sweets tonight. I already bought cake. I might as well have sweets. And um, I bought some Haribo and she loves the jelly sweeties. She loves the black jelly babies. See, these black jelly babies? Look. Maddie, would you like a black jelly baby? You would like a black... That's, that's please, mummy, please. You'd like a black jelly baby? There you go. <laughs> Did you know that dogs are like humans? Dogs have a sweet tooth or a savoury tooth. And this is why Maddie will fight you for a jelly sweet and Gypsy will fight you for a piece of cheese. And Crow likes Pringles. <laughs> it's a mad, mad house. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and uh, probably watch a film. I've got a big day tomorrow. Well, not a big day, but out and about, up early kind of day. Um, I've got my friend Tracy's coming over. Um, she used to be Gypsy's foster mum before me. So she's coming to... I think she's doing the UK GSR checkup as well. Um, but I've been having a few issues with Gypsy nipping because she's... We think she's getting a bit overprotective, so Tracy's coming over to assess her and see what's going on and see if she can help me, because I've not dealt with a dog getting protective before. Um, so that's a new one on me. But I'm always willing to learn, you know. I'm not one of those people who's going to send her back just because she's nipping. She's, um, she's taken a chunk out of Maddie as well today, but, you know, dogs do that. They're not fighting, they're just playing. She didn't realise her, her own strength, so... Maddie's going to have a nice scar, but, you know, she's cute. She'll get over it. So, yeah. So out and about tomorrow and tonight I'm just... It's half past ten already and I'm so tired. I might just sit and do a journal page and then go to bed. And it's cold. It's cold. It's really, really cold. It's like minus one last night and then it's minus two tonight. Which is apparently about 25, 26 degrees in Americanese Fahrenheit stuff. So, it's very cold. I had to wear my coat today when I took the girls out. I don't wear a coat normally. <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to waffle if I sit here any longer. I really haven't done anything much today, but should have a bit more of a fun blog for you tomorrow. So, it's good night for me. It's a good night from her. Miss Maddie. Hello, Miss Maddie. Mwah.